cut it in half lengthwise. Flat surface or flat surface. Now if y'all want some of this salad, you need to come on and stop. Walked on by here before looking for stuff. Come on. Yeah, got stuff stuff here. Here. Now we got stuff. Okay, I'm gonna take a short stab down. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate you. Okay, just like I did the tomato, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going to cover this piece. And then if we need it later, I'll attack it then. Okay. Same concept. We're cutting chunks. These are larger chunks. Go through lengthwise first. However many times you think it works, then come down. And across. Now I must ask, is that easier than cutting that watermelon into the wedges and then cutting yes, the wedge out and then, yes, you know, trying to spit them seeds at the same time? This is the cut watermelon. Another trick when working with your cutting board, always have a wet towel underneath it. Two reasons. Without it, your board's gonna move on it. With it, your board is secure. Once again, the safety more than anything else. Then, once you get this side all dirty and messed up, if you're still working, don't want to move and clean up, you can flip because you got a clean side. So that's why you always have that towel underneath your cutting board. What's the best way to clean a cutting board? Uh, wooden cutting boards, they say no water. I use water. But what I do is every once in a while, I'll just pour a little bleach on it, let it run off, and then uh, rinse it real good. The plastic ones, you can put in the water, but I scrape those good because they have a tendency to stain. And I use a wooden board for my fruits and veggies. I use a plastic board for my meats and cheeses. And some people have a board for produce, meats, and even a separate one for cheese. Whenever I'm working on veggies, it's got to be wooden. When I'm working on meats, it's got to be plastic. Okay? Pick them up! native to the Amazon, you find it in many, many Asian and Latin cuisines. It looks like a turnip. It tastes like an apple pear. Flat surface, consistent. Always come at it the same way. Flat surface. Cut in half. Flat surface. Now I'm going to peel. There are two layers to this jicama, so you've got to make sure you get through both when you peel. Once again, I mentioned the flavor is bland. It's like a apple pear. Sometimes they're nice, crispy, and sweet. Sometimes they're not as sweet. But the purpose of a jicama is to increase the texture and add a component that the flavor of whatever you're doing, take, the jicama will take that on. Okay, same process. Take half of that, come down. Making chunks. These chunks are going to be a little smaller than that, but nonetheless a chunk. Do this one. Any food questions yet? No food questions? Alright. I ain't mad at you. Make my job easy. I don't have to think it's all. Even though I like making it. Okay, one more swab me down. It's hot out here today, folks. It's about 600 degrees. <laughs> but the wind is blowing. Okay, got my two things cut up. Let me make my um, dress. Is that orange juice? Huh? Is that orange juice? Yeah, fresh squeezed orange juice. A 
little fresh squeezed lime juice. A little honey. Honey. Hello, sweethearts. See, I know somebody show up when it's close to time to eat. It always happens. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not mad at you. I got enough to share, baby. I got enough. I'm just saying, that's what people show up. I used to be. Cause you talk like you little TV, he just got the screen right there, so I'm like, Eek. I used to be in, in another lifetime. <laughs> okay. okay. No one this is my dressing. The last thing I need to do is add a little salt and pepper and chop up my fresh mint leaves, which mm. also came from my garden. Mm. Mm. Get it. You can cook cooking with. Go ahead, you can say cooking with. Cook on. Girl, you're so small. You're so small. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because folks say cocoa, they say cuckoo, they say all sorts of stuff. It's cocoa. Okay, I've got to chop my mint leaves. This is spearmint rather than pe uh, peppermint. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Little no. seeds. It's the supposed to be white stuff. The white stuff. The white stuff are seeds. They're beginning of seeds. No, 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 no. no, no. The oh, the jicama. I'm sorry, the baby. Um, <laughs> it's the other half of this. She hungry. Here, let me have you taste it. Cause huh? your face. Uh huh. <laughs> no. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me have you taste it. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Uh, and then we have our watermelon and jicama salad. Let me taste this. Make sure my dressing is right. Add a little honey. Did she already add the honey to orange honey juice? Honey the That's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. baby, bye. I might like it. You want to add a little on your own? Oh, I'm free. I'm just wanted because I wanted to see when you did it. Oh, okay. I saw it. I put it in the uh, dressing. Okay. Salt. Hold on, hold on, baby. Now you're going to get everything. This is the end of my demo. It's now time to serve. Don't hurt nobody. We left, this, a, little, we left a little people go first. Let the little people go first. <laughs> and then after that, like I say, don't hurt nobody. I have a question. Yes, sir. Liquid amino oil. Right. I'll talk about it as soon as I mix this. Okay. Yeah, I, I brought that to too. talk about, okay. not to use. No, that's the. That doesn't make me want to get a, a big old bowl and just take that with me on my house. <laughs> okay. I, I bet she has some bowls over there. I, I've got um. I brought. Plates. Oh, what's all in that? Corn. Just try it, baby. It's got corn, it's no corn. Corn. It's got mm. onion. No, no eggs. Okay, we good. It's got oh, some yeah, cheese. Yeah, that's what I was checking. Oh, okay, no, no eggs. Look, I'm allergic to eggs. Okay. Not a problem. No problem. I don't want you. Getting sick after you ate my food because I want to go back to my You know, I got sick eating this stuff. That's because you yeah. Yeah, got allergies for right. my food. I'm just allergic. That's how I just say I was just allergic. It was good, but I was Okay, before we finish up and start serving, I want to talk about the amino acids. This is a natural soy sauce. And the garden? No, it's processed from soybeans. And you have to see a soybean to see what we're talking about. So it's, a black bean? No, soybeans aren't black. Um, but anyway, they're pressed and processed to make this liquid. This liquid, you use the seasoning in place of salt. And the benefit is that it has all of the amino acids within this that you need in your body. Amino acid is a nutrient, a trace mineral nutrient that is very important in you being able to digest your food. Most foods we eat, the amino acids are dead. It's the dead. Most of them are dead because they've been cooked out. This yeah. maintains the yeah. integrity. When your food is processed, they heat it to a certain temperature. Right. And they heat it to a temperature where they, they okay. destroy Question. the amino acids. When I go out to see, it's going to get you to like No, no, no. It's just, just at the full, you It's know. just going to taste good. It's going to taste like you I ain't going to get too hot because I just came out the pool. It's going to taste like you put salt in it. Instead of salt, you would use that. That's all. So is soy sauce naturally salty? Yes. Okay. Mommy, yes. wait, mommy, wait. That's right. Is it substitute for salt? Yeah, I came out to exactly. have it. I saw she saw food. Okay. That's the way you came over here. Mm -hmm. Here, my service. You know, it's I am going to allow you people to serve yourself since we don't have a lot of people. Here's your plates. I assume since they're so small, you'll be filling them up and coming back to home. But once again, that's my demo. I appreciate your attention. And I hope you like what you eat. Go on, have a picture. Go ahead. Serve it for her. Oh, no, no. This is all right.